Hi, Dr. Brosen. Can you tell us about the glycotoxicity risk factor? Yeah, glycotoxicity is one of the most important risk factors. We call this type 1.5 Alzheimer's uh, because it impacts both type 1, the inflammatory status, and type 2, which is the atrophic status. So what happens with, the, with an increase in glucose, you've got the worst of several worlds. So first of all, because your glucose is going up, it's now starting to interact with various proteins. And so it's just like remoras on a shark. It sticks on and doesn't come off. And this happens, this is, we, we of course measure it as hemoglobin A1C, but there are hundreds of proteins that have this non-enzymatic glycation. So they're stuck on there, unfortunately. Uh, and the, so this actually changes the shape and it changes the immunogenicity. So you now have a pro-inflammatory protein. So you can get some so-called autoimmunity with this. And it's really not autoimmunity. It, that's a secondary piece because it's recognizing the normal as well as the abnormal form, which is really unfortunate. Reducing that glycotoxicity through the things that we know can do this through a Ketoflex 12-3 type of diet, through uh, exercise, better sleep, less stress, all of these things, and improving a you know, classic plant-rich, mildly ketogenic diet with appropriate fasting periods. Uh, these things are so powerful to reverse that glycotoxicity and help to improve cognition.